Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? I got no place to put this. I hope you're doing well. I hope everything in your world is good. Everything here is... It's here, right? And um, if you can't tell by this mess in front of me, I actually uh, I got to spend a tiny amount of time down here this weekend. Um, a very small amount of time. We uh, Keely stayed with me the whole weekend, so... Uh, uh, I had to I had to entertain her, of course, which means I don't have a whole lot of free time. But yesterday she did discover that she likes playing FIFA by herself, and she's good at it. And um, so she played by herself for a little while yesterday, which allowed me to sneak, sneak down here because, and I'm not going to be showing you this anytime soon, uh, I recently, as in, I think Saturday, I got my guitar out. Now, I haven't had my guitar out in years, and I never really learned how to play guitar. Um, my fingers have never really cooperated. I bought a guitar probably eight years ago, eight or nine, maybe even ten years ago. It's been a long time ago. Uh, I bought a guitar, and um, I started to teach myself how to play, and I've never had lessons or anything like that. I've been a musical person my entire life, but... Uh, I just guitar has always been one of those one of those skills that has eluded me because my fingers don't they're not as nimble like I can play piano but uh, that that pressure with big hands like my hands are you know my hands are really large in comparison to guitar neck I can wrap my hand like around the guitar neck so to get these little I have to make these really tough motions with my hands which uh, which are painful and I practiced and practiced and practiced for a while, and I got I got to the point where I could do a few chord changes semi fluidly. Uh, I think I was working on like a maybe a um, I don't know some reggae song or something way back then, and I got to the point where I could get the chord change, but I can't even begin to do anything with it now. Uh, so I got that out this weekend, and I so I when I what I did I came down here. I'll show you a picture here. I made a I made a hanger to put the guitar up on the wall because I don't want the dogs uh, to get to it. So I hung that up and uh, I th also, it was in a case in the basement for all these years, uh, pulled it out. It was obviously way out of tune, so I had to tune it, um, which was great. The strings were in great condition considering. And um, I might take it apart. I might get some newer, lighter strings, take it apart and uh, maybe sand the bridge down a little bit. It's The action's really, really high on the, it was like a less than a hundred dollar guitar on eBay years ago. And uh, so the action is really high, like really high at the base of the neck. Top of the neck's great. So I might take the bridge off and sand it, but whatever, hung it up. I figure if it's hanging instead of in a bag, the chances of me pulling it down and fiddling with it are much higher. Uh, the, the funny thing is I'm always looking, There's there's a 15, to 20 minute window during the day that I'm always like, okay, what do I do now? And that is while this video is rendering, <laughs> right? Because my computer is ancient, it needs updated, and um, when the video is rendering, that's really all I, it can do. I could try to run other software, but that ups the rendering time by like 50%, and videos, I can't play videos because they just stutter, and it it's, my computer needs an overhaul very badly. And, um, so while the video is rendering, I pretty much just play on my phone or I play Switch or something like that. And I figure, you know, me being me, I would much rather develop a, a useful skill during that 15 minutes. And uh, so the guitar is right there. I can take it off the wall and, and strum at it, pick at it, you know, practice chords, uh, picking away. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll uh, be able to play it someday if I just... I figure if I could put a half hour a day into it, which I think I can come up with that time, just to something to fiddle with. You know, I play more than a half hour a day of video games, so uh, I could probably pull it off. And, and speaking of the computer, um, I, I really, first of all, uh, the the um, time capsule video is trending again. This has been the first time this year it's trended, so uh, that's cool. If you're here because of the time capsule video, hello, welcome to the channel. I, I'm Chevy, and I do this every day. Um, I put lots of content out because I enjoy talking to friends. I've made a lot of friends here, so 
thank you. Thank you for stopping by if you're new here. If you're old here, you know I tell you thank you all the time, but thank you again. Um, we've had quite a few conversations about the new content. The new content is coming. Uh, I have done a few trials. I'm not at all remotely satisfied with them yet. Uh, I have one of them that I filmed this weekend, or well, I filmed at the end of last week. I edited it a bit this weekend. I'm semi happy with, and I might uh, share that soon in a kind of a closed channel of the way. And what I've been thinking is, and I, I really don't. I, I'm going to use Patreon. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to throw it out there. Uh, Patreon is a way for you to to show support for me, to show support for this channel. And it's a way for me to share things with you in a private setting uh, and have good quality feedback. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, not, don't go, I mean, if you wanna go sign up now, go sign up now, that's great. But in the very near future, I will be revamping the Patreon page and I'll actually be paying attention to stuff there because I'm going to start testing the new show there for at least until I can get a couple of episodes done, until I can get people looking at it and telling me this is trash, don't do this. Because I really don't want to put something up that isn't worth putting up. Uh, again, going back to the beginning of this show, it was, it's never really been, in my opinion, it's never really been worth, there's been a few episodes, but for the most part, a lot of these episodes, I just put them up because I've made the commitment to do it, not because I feel like the content is quality. Uh, the other show though, I am, committed to making sure that it is a, it is in a sustainable format, meaning that I can put out content there regularly. It's not going to be daily. It's not going to be bi-weekly. It's, it's going to be when I can put it out and when I find something that I want to put out. Um, and I want to do kind of a pre-screening. So that will be done through Patreon. When I'm ready to do that, I will announce it here. And uh, for those of you who are already members of Patreon, thank you so much. Uh, if you jump on, you know, it costs a dollar a month. That's it. And uh, I'm, I'm never going to charge by video. Or There's other formats, but I just don't see the point. And uh, you'll be able to participate behind the scenes with the future content that I do here. So I think that's the plan for now. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for listening to this weirdness. I, I didn't talk about anything tonight. I talked about guitar that I don't know how to play. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from Wikipedia. What do you call the space between your nose and upper lip? My mustache? For humans, most primates, the philtrum survives only as a vestigial medial depression between the nose and upper lip. The human filtered philtrum, bordered by ridges, also is known as the infranasal depression, but has no apparent function. It carries my mustache. That's a function.